Odyssey Studios in New York. It's late night with Conan O'Brien. Tonight from the new show, Boston Legal, Emmy Award-winning actor James Bader. From Saturday Night Live, Amy Poehler. And from the show, Kenny vs. Benny, Kenny Hawks and Spencer Wright. Wow. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I rode out here on a wave of love, and then they got a good look at me, and they were like, <laughs> no. <laughs> they thought I was someone else coming out. Yay! Oh, God. <laughs> Take a good look at what you're checking out tonight. Um... <laughs> All right, we gotta settle down because we got the show tonight. Tonight I've been told we gotta, keep, we gotta keep it moving tonight. We got a lot of guests, we have a lot of fun stuff to do. Tonight's a show that's so packed that I gotta keep it moving the whole time. I'm the conductor of this train, you're along for the ride. Have a good one. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guy's not buying it. You're right. Uh... Very exciting. These are exciting times we're in right now, of course. Uh, just what, just a couple hours ago, the first presidential debate took place. You all watched that, didn't you? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that great? That's great. Don't overdo it, all right? Can you imagine if we take the show early, we wouldn't be able to talk about it? <laughs> 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 Now, that debate was something. Yeah, earlier tonight, uh, I don't know if you know this, but President Bush won the coin toss before the debate, and as a result, at the end, he was allowed to have the last word. True story, yeah. Not surprisingly, the word was courageosity. <laughs> what else is going on? Martha Stewart is going to prison in uh, just like a week, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was reported today that uh, when Martha Stewart goes to prison, this is true next month, uh, every day she will be told when to get up, what work to do, and what to eat. Yeah. In other words, it'll be just like working for Martha Stewart. <laughs> That's my Martha impression. <laughs> I don't know what that was at the end. Fire or vomit, I don't know. Anyway, let's move it along. I gotta move it along, we got a lot of show. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Paris Hilton has legally trademarked the phrase, that's hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a uh, related story, Paris Hilton's doctors have trademarked the phrase, that's contagious. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this, I'm trying to get into mime. That's what I'm trying, I'm the only guy trying to work my way into mime. Well, you sports fans, I got big news. This Saturday at Shea Stadium, the New York Mets are celebrating Fan Appreciation Day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but only if one shows up. <laughs> And then I gotta mention this. Uh, it's been reported that this winter, Cher is going on tour with the village people. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Apparently the tour will be called The Gayest Show on Earth. <laughs> Gay. I gotta work on the 
bicycle. Yeah. I'll work on the bike. I'll get it going. All right. <laughs> Great show tonight. Let me tell you who's on the program this evening from the brand new show, Boston Legal. He just won an Emmy. Great actor, James Spader. He's on the program. <laughs> He's a good man. We have, I really believe, uh, one of the funniest people ever uh, from Saturday Night Live, Amy Poehler, is on the show. She's very talented. I'm in love with her. But, uh, and then uh, we have the stars of the hugely successful Canadian TV show, Kenny vs. Spenny, which can now be seen in America on GSN. Kenny Hotz and Spencer Rice are here. National heroes in Canada. And right over here, Max Wonder the Max Wonder, the Max Wonder! That was nice. TV music. Sometimes I wish the people at home could see the cameraman running around during the transition. You know, when I walk over and you play the music tonight, it's just incredible. It's a ballet. It's a ballet. <laughs> These guys who don't move much during the day, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I do the last joke and then I say, Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7, and I cross over and these guys run and they're pushing these cameras and they all just miss each other by fractions of a second. There are explosions. <laughs> Kittens were running around. <laughs> I don't even know where the kittens came from. Balloons drop. It's one of the best things. Yeah, uh, candies dispensed to the audience. All this stuff happens in the. How long is your it, when you play the walk across, as we call it in the business? How long is that? Eight seconds? Nine oh, that was seconds? Uh, that was twenty and a half seconds. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm no judge of time after working in <laughs> television for eleven years. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. But it's so quick. But it's still, and people can't see men in Mylar suits grab me and carry me over here. Unless you want to give them and then time I'm to bathed in oils and balms, and then I'm placed in this chair. The studio audience sees it, but no one else at home sees it. And it's amazing. It's just amazing. Whenever they tell me to move it along and don't I waste know. time, I'm, I can't help it. <laughs> That's when I start babbling like a chimp on crack, is when they say, don't waste any time, move it right along. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Gleam. All right. 